On Wednesday, Bank of Canada held rates steady at 0.25% and said the economy won't recover to pre-COVID-19 levels until 2022. Reports showed Australia's unemployment rate has surged to the highest level since 1998 with almost 1 million now officially without work for the first time ever. Meanwhile, China reported a 3.2% GDP growth in the second quarter, avoiding a recession and indicating a recovery from the damage caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be watching the UK employment change, the ECB rate decision, and the US retail sales for yet another busy trading day. Today, I'm looking at the euro dollar pair, which is pushing hard to break above the key resistance level of 1.1413, a level the pair hasn't been able to break above since February 2019, despite multiple attempts. This time around, the bulls appear to be determined, but if they fail, that makes this level even that stronger than before and will likely get the bears to push the pair down towards the neckline of a potential double top chart pattern at 1.11. Will you be shorting the euro dollar if the current resistance level holds? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.